As I have said, the proxy queen is unable to hold an audience. How can Rig negotiate time? peace if stupid high elves won't talk to him? We grow accustomed to the influx of visitors to our blessed isle, though your increasing numbers remain a source of concern to our nobles. We, however, find the many non-Altma faces to be... interesting. The Psijic Order... We have not heard a word from that August body in a star's age, and then word arrives that we should expect a visitor. Why would we grant access to the Sapiarch's private compound? This involves the business that Razendal was telling us about. The Queen's cat claimed he had eyes in the Sigic Order, but we assumed that was more of his braggadocio. Very well. The newcomer wants us to blather on about the many wonders of the Blessed Isle. Why, by all means. Let us sing the praises of the Sapiarchs, reveal a recipe for an Altma delicacy, and select the best House of Reveries performance for you to attend. Indeed. Perhaps you aren't as dull as we first presumed. My queen has asked that we welcome you. So we shall tell you that the Sapiarchs are our teachers. And we shall alert the portal master to accommodate you. Once... from the Queen's eye. Would it really be true?
Honestly, I think she plans to do something rash. She might even attack the guards. Stay strong, Emil. I'll get you out of this. Secure the prisoner in the Fighters Guild. Off you go. I've checked over Lilindril from top to bottom, and there's no sign of the Court of Bedlam. I can't get the Portal Master to let me go to the College Compound, though. Good, good. I was about to turn that insignificant book dust into something small, wet, and slimy. Would have... No. The mission is more important than personal matters. I'm sure Lathan will turn up, eventually. Lathan and I met when we were initiates of the Sigic Order. We fell in love and married, had a daughter. We had all the things we ever wanted. And then everything changed. It happened ages ago, after a long illness. We lived on an island filled with the most accomplished sages of our age. And there was nothing that could be done. We... No, it wasn't like that. When the Right Master first learned of the possible Daedric threat, Lathan volunteered to look into it. We both thought it would be good for Lathan to get away. Give him... Lathan's reports became less frequent. Then he stopped sending them altogether. I'd know if he was dead, but he could be a prisoner or hurt. Not now, please. I really must prepare for tonight's lecture. Besides, only those with permission may enter the College of Sapiarchs. We can't... So you're the luminary the proxy queen wants me to treat with kid gloves. And I suppose the arrogant Sigic is with you? Oh. The compound has been purposely isolated to serve as a sanctuary and place of study. Research and scholarship require solitude and quiet, after all. We use magic to travel back and forth. Just follow me and step onto the dais. <laughs> By the seven sacred texts, who has dared invade this place of learning? I've got this. You talk to that Sapiarch. This is unheard of. Attacked in our own sanctuary? This is terrible. Please excuse my present state, as I am distraught beyond all rational thought. I never imagined that Daedra would attack our compound. It's madness. Happened. Oh, it isn't over yet. There was no warning. Daedra filled the compound. So many great minds cut down. We were able to clear the courtyard, but there's more inside. I... The Crystal Tower? You need to speak to Lana Teal, Sapiarch of Archaeology and head of our college. She's trapped inside with those monsters. According to the maps I studied, the labyrinth is this way. I'll return to Lelandrel and warn the guards. Good idea. Perhaps I should accompany you. There's more to this than a simple daedric incursion. I felt a strange sensation when we arrived. A sense of urgency. Sometimes. Probably has something to do with living on a displaced island and being part of the Sigic Order. Even scholars have ways to defend themselves. Which reminds me. I can protect myself, but I'm not much good in a raging battle. Ah! 
By the stars! This place is enormous! This place. I'd Mortal like to explore please. this compound one day, when fewer Daedra are about, of course. We should be able to reach the upper levels through there.
hear voices up ahead. Actually, not to a Daedric cultist. Nathan, stop! Valserin, no, damn you! You and your companion arrived in the proverbial nick of time. Now, if you wouldn't mind, who in oblivion are you? And how did you know the College of Sapiarchs was under assault? First, the cultist leads an army of Daedra into our compound and demands I turn over the resolute diamonds. Now, you arrive with a warning from the long-absent sages of Arteum. That's impossible. We would know if the tower's defenses had been breached. But it would explain the disasters currently befalling the Somerset Isle. Let's say I believe you. What does the right master suggest as the next step? A reasonable plan. But access to the tower requires the resolute diamonds, which are guarded by the tower's sentinels. We appreciate your aid in this matter. Before you head to the Illumination Academy, Perhaps you can have your friend get that cultist out of my compound. Let's leave these Sijiks to their work. I can't we believe I was concerned about the welfare yes. of my husband. To find Lathan here, threatening the Sapiox and leading a horde of Daedra. How could he betray the Order like that? How could he betray me? A simple spell of binding. His attention was so focused on the Sapiox, he wasn't prepared to deal with another Sigic mage. I almost hope he gives me a little trouble. I could use a reason to unleash some pain and suffering on this... this... turncoat. You there. Tell my darling wife to release me, and I'll ask Mathala to kill you quickly when the new age dawns. Spinner saved me from fools and altruistic adventurers. Valserin turned her back on me and my daughter a long time ago. Don't presume to judge my actions, you insignificant flea. I am an Earl in the Court of Bedlam now, chosen personally by Mathala to represent her on this all-too-fragile world. Hail, mighty warrior!
Captain! Platt is now in session! Five Claw. You always arrive. After Roz spoke to the pretty Sigi Coriandra, whispers reached me about the illustrious Illumination Academy. They said that the court of Bedlam hunts a sapiarch there, so Roz had to come and see. So the Crystal Tower really is in danger. This one finds that so hard to believe. The Crystal Tower, it's a bastion, a symbol of everything the High Elves hold dear. The Queen would be very cross with Raz if anything bad happened to the tower. Now Raz sees why the Court of Bedlam seeks these particular sages. Very well. No need to twist this one's tail. This way. Follow Raz. Onward, sailors! What treasures await us? New arrivals? Sorry, they usually let me know when new academics are going to arrive. I'm sure I can find a way to squeeze you in someplace. How long do you plan? Sure. They arrived a few days ago, but only Sopiak Hanayel stayed. She's working on a book of some sort. I think that's what she told me. Don't know where the other one scampered off to. I wouldn't think so. She left all her things in her room. No. <laughs> hmm. Hasn't been slept in. Such a waste of a perfectly good bed. Interesting. Roz saw one just like it in a shop in Skywatch. The Sapiarch's letter. She's hidden a coded message in the words. Hanael mentions something isn't right here. That she plans to hide in a quiet room. Very smart. It seems the Sapiarch knows that someone is hunting her. We need to find the books and the podiums. If Raz has deciphered the meaning of her code correctly. Let's hope we can find her before the Court of Bedlam does. That is disturbing news. The Queen hates Daedric machinations, especially the most overt ones. Let
If you're the person that's been following me, I warn you, I'll... I'll scream. A vanishing bookcase. Raz likes this clever sage. If you're the person that's been following me... I knew I wasn't imagining things. I told Imadril that we were being followed. If the head of the College of Sapiarch sent you and told you we got at the Resolute Diamonds, it must be a serious matter. Something Daedric princes you, say. As in more than one? That doesn't sound very good. Imadril went to King's Haven, not too far from here. The old ruins. He loves to poke around in that place every chance he gets. But I'm still a bit confused. Uh, Raz will explain things to the pretty Sapiar, and make sure she returns safely to Lilandril. Yeah! 